first, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Khabib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo and the ground control and the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. If you use coach, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh! Big elbow! Takedown defense holds up. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, and he can 
connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Single collar tie now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. It's the elbow there. And they separate. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just over three minutes to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 27 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Got the single collar tie. Nurmagomedov's knee to the body looked like for a second it would get through, but that one is blocked. Nice job of hiding that hit. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Another leg kick lands. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Nermago Medov gets hit by that kick to the body. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, massive knee to the head. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. 190 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. And those slams really go a long way with the judges. Huge authority behind that takedown there. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Caught that kick there. And there comes the separation now. Nice punch here. Ooh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with round two. Round Ready? one, pretty good, not Ready? great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of the fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Checks the leg kick. Big kick lands. Oh, that's a 
nice strike there by Nurmago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, man, head to win. Nermako Medov gets caught with that punch. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual. Absolutely, and it's going to be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. And they separate. Just out of range with that right hook. Ooh, big shot land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Meta. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Big kick lands. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. Nice jab, falls it up with a nice right hand. And he caught the kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Nurmago Medov's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Grab the wrist. Grab his wrist. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and trying to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von Flu? Wow. Austin up now, brilliant submission defense there. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture, but if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully.
he managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. And they separate. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great punch landed with so much power. Nurmagomedov gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down from the head and land beautiful punches to the head. Strike. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Nurmagomedov's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cutler. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Elbow lands for him. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right hand punch to the clinch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Good punch. Real sneaky body punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Oh, collar tie. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Great punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high punch. Oh! He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. 
He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. Now the guy's got all the Oh, and there's the one at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick, too. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice sneaky head kick. He gets the elbow up into the target. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Yeah. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Takedown defense holds up. Right under the elbow, the body keep playing. Oh! And they separate. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh! Boy, time for up. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Stuff the takedown, no problem. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Win the scramble, win the scramble. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Nermago Medov gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Oh, he eats a knee. And they separate. And now he's got the tie clinch. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, nice punch there by Nermago Meta. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown the Tim without securing one. It's almost... Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over to... And this might just be a matter of time.
sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar, Habib the Eagle Nevada. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to